everyone. So I wanted to give you a quick introduction to the Valheim I'm a Cheater tool. So you can follow this tool on GitHub and you can check the updates. I've been working on it almost every weekend. Uh, the purpose of this tool is very simple, is to, to allow you to modify your character file and, for example, give items to yourself, multiply quantities, uh, change the active power and so on. You can also change uh, the, the cooldown of the power. To use it, it's pretty simple, just go to, to the GitHub, I'll leave the link um, on the description below. And here on releases, you can just check the latest release just download it and run it or if you want you can build it from source so just git clone this repository and follow the steps down below on how to build on your on your computer so to use this tool it's pretty simple on the only steps that you have to follow is come here and download latest release to your computer okay so you just need to download the file after downloading the file you can have the, the game running, like I am, like I have it here. Okay, just copy the file to a folder where you, you would like to save your character files, because it will backup, every time you, you change your character, it will generate a backup file of, of the previous state. So if something bad happens, you don't have to worry, you just need to copy uh, the file on, on the backups folder to the game save files folder, and you'll be fine. So for example, Let's show you how it works. Probably can hear the anti antivirus, which is checking the execut executable, which is normal. Just a second. Okay. It's now saying that it's clean and it's now running. Okay, so here you can choose your, uh, your active character that you have on your folder. If you only have one, probably you will only see one, but you can have multiple characters. Also, I recommend that you first try this with a, a new character that you don't like. And to use this tool correctly, please make sure that you have, you should have at least one power discovered. And you, you should also have an item on your inventory to use this tool correctly. Otherwise, some, some bugs might occur. If they happen, uh, feel free to open an issue. On the, on the repository and I'll have a look at it. Okay, so first, the first thing I have to do is choose the character that I, I want to play with. So in this case, I'm going to choose this hacker character that I created pre uh, previously and load the items. So here you can see all the items that are in the inventory of this character. You can see the icon of, of the item, you can see the name, you can see the current level, the weight, the weight is just for reference, but I think it's a nice detail to have here. And, and also the quantity that we have that you have at the moment and here you can see the max quantity so for example let's suppose that you have that you had five of fine wood but you want to have 50 you can change it here to 50 and it doesn't allow you to go over the max quantity for safety reasons if you do uh, the game character might be corrupted so let's imagine that i have five and i want to max this item i just click the max button and now i have 50. Uh, so i want to make some changes here just to, just to show you for example i have five of bronze and four of copper so i want to max this out and just save the file okay so now i go back to the game i'm going to join the server of my friends also this works in single player and multiplayer so i want to show you in multiplayer yeah, so i'm joining the server and choosing the echo character As you can see, we already have the one that we are carrying too much, which is normal. So as you, as you can see here, I have 30 of copper and 30 of bronze, which I'm going to draw away. But I don't want it in my inventory. So to use the tool, the only thing that you have to do is log out of the server where you are. Just alt tab the tool, load the file again. You need to load the file always. So you load the file, now you can probably see that now I have to correct um, the last quantity that that we saw in the game. So 5, it's the, update, the updated quantity of the game, 5 and 5. 
So now you can start to see some interesting things. So for example, for the level of the items, you can see here that I have a troll leather pants in level 10, which I think max game, in the game, the max level that you can have is probably 5 or 6 or 4 for some items. So I think for the troll, troll leather is 4. Not sure. Let's go to the top. The top is, I think it's uh, 255. Let's try it. And the same for this item. This, I already tried, uh, doesn't do anything. So you can leave it as default. Uh, I was playing with, with it before to do some tests, but changing the level of items that are not weapons, for example, a knife or the club or whatever, we won't do anything. So just leave it at, at one, which is the default. But if you, you, if you put 255, uh, it doesn't matter. The game will ignore that. And okay, so now we can save. Also, I want to change the, the power. So I want to change this, for example, to the Yaglu and save. And now let's play. Joining the server again. You can see that we have Yagu's power, so it changed. Um, also, you can see here 255 for the knife, 200 for the club, and the, the armor, troll leather armor, at 255. And you can see it has a durability of 51,300. So that's why you see it with barely any um, durability. So let's try this, ah, and you can see that we have an armor, a total armor of 1,000, <laughs> which is a lot. And let's try this. I just need to, I just need to get rid of something. Yeah, good to go. Okay, so my friends were here already. Ah, nice. There's a troll there. Exactly what I wanted. Let's try to kill this troll with a knife. Okay, so as you can see, I got it. And it barely does any damage. And that's it. Okay, two hits. And <laughs> the troll is down. Okay. So, this can be one of the purposes, although I think it's a bit boring if you play the game like this, but yeah. If you want to do it, do it. Um, it's your own game, so play it the way you like it. I don't like to play it like, like this, I mainly use the tool uh, when I'm building and I want to change the amount of wood, for example, or stone that I have on me, so I can quickly build uh, some large buildings without having to grind for hours on the game. The last thing I want to show you, the reset of the cooldown. So as you can see here, we have 40 minutes left to use the Yagu's power. So I'm just going to log out. Load the character. You can see the quantity here changed because I threw, I threw some away. Um, and let's just reset the cooldown, hit save and go back to the game. So this, this feature of changing the, the active power can be quite useful. For example, when you're going on a trip on the boat and you just want to, to move fast, so you can use the mother power to, to have always downwind, so the boat is going much faster. And when you get to where you are going, you can quickly change the, the power again for the one that you probably will, will, will be using, usually Actir or the Elder. I think usually active. And as you can see, the power is reset. Or as the power has been resetted and now I can use it properly. And I can keep doing this 
again and again and again. So I can give buff to my friends, log out, change the power, use another buff. But one note, you lose the buff. Uh, every time you log out, you lose the active buff that you have. And I think that's basically it. So there are, some, there are some things that I'm working on. And for a future release, I want to include um, increasing the amount of life. So I've done that. Already I've done that, but uh, I need to find a, pro a programmatic way to do that. So I think I increased my the, the life to 60,000. So and the stamina to a uh, huge value as well. I am not sure for the value that I increased it. Uh, but the bar was so big that I only saw um, an empty stamina bar that was that's bigger than the size of the screen, the same for the life bar. And I now never saw the, the stamina going in the screen, even staying still for half an hour. And I was hitting to, to refill the health because the max health was increased, but not the current health value. So in half an hour, I got around 1200 of life. The bar was up to, to the icons here. So this bar, I got life probably around here. But the, the, the max value was out of the screen. So you get basically two huge bars on the screen, which is also not pleasant. Then again, if you want to, to do that for fun, just to try it, I think it's a, a nice experience, <laughs> but not to play the game every day like that. I think it completely ruins the experience. But it, it's a choice. Okay, so, so if you want to, con to contribute, just have a look at uh, the information that it's here on the repository. Something that I'm still missing is to change the durability of the item. So to quickly fix all items that you have. And yeah, I think that's basically it. Life, stamina, durability of the items. I still need to do one feature, which is to add and remove items from your inventory. I still need to work on that. It will not be that easy, I think. Okay, so that's basically it. If you have any questions, just leave it on the comments below or send a message on GitHub. Thanks, and see you next time.